if you have been following our innovations and our research, you must have come to the knowledge of our free energy pulse motor with PLC motor concept. The concept that is let me say a bit powerful than the normal pulse motor because of the effect of magnet and the electromagnet instead of using a, a, a pulsive force alone yeah we are making use of both the repulsive and attractive force now we have gone further in our modification here yeah, we make use of only the receiving and the, the, the source power that's the battery banks we have here is true but in this case we, are, we have exceeded that and our output is now more than expected. In this case, now instead of using a switch for this concept, we are now making use of a Hall effects sensor switch, which is more efficient and better. Then here we made use of an um, N-channel MOSFET. Here we are using a P-channel MOSFET and this is a whole effect this the the most fed and this the, the second battery bank that is receiving the charge this is a source that is powering the load now here is the normal assembly negative and positive magnet and to make this more stronger you can design it with an auxiliary flux concept making use of both poles of the status but here we we'll just want to design it the ordinary way and give you something that you will be happy and this video now from the diagram you can see the whole concept this is the flywheel we made use of a smaller flywheel and the north and south pole magnets is the whole effect sensor switch is the most fed pulse motor is the indicator light that will show you when it is on then this is our starter coil now starter coil will um, kind of propel this thing this flywheel be the engine of this motor. Now we now have another concept added to this. This is the output, the alternator aspect of it. But in order to reduce the lens effect, that is making it more a bit efficient in operation, using the lens effect, we decided to place this coil in this direction so that instead of the reaction coming directly to the, to the magnet it is now the magnetic flux is channeled through this ion core that means it is moving in this direction not facing the flywheel or the magnet so the flux now is, is allowed to flow through this direction thereby reducing the drag on effect of this then at the back of the, the starter coil, which is here, we added another coil, tons of coil, just to show you how we can generate excess energy from this thing. Then, if you have been familiar with our design, this system, we did not run the connection just like normal set up. We added something that is beyond what that is beyond the norm. We decided to introduce another concept of kind of negative resistance effect. 
how to generate electricity from negative to a resistance of battery. So we call it the split negative effect or system. So we will make a separate video on this. How you generate energy from battery, free energy from battery to ionic movement. Though we had something like that in our previous video, we talked about the motionless free energy concept. You can make use of that video to work with capacitors. The same diagram is applicable here. So here we now have three different sources, or even more than three. Here is the main source. This will receive the negative resistance effect. It is representing that source, and that means here is another output generating energy from ionic movement. Now coming to this, the back of the starter coil of the power pulse motor is another output that is supplying power to this knob. This plate here you are seeing is another output from the back EMF of this starter coil. This is now our alternator, the output, and here represents another alternator. Because of space, we can still add two more output, but we just want to post this video to show you what is happening. Now, this is the voltage of the source, 24 volts, where this one will receive the reactive charge and it's not charging now, it's giving us 12.9. So, when we connect it, we now see how this thing will be charging the battery and lot of things happening with so we want to also use this medium to appreciate someone who sacrifice and makes this whatever you are seeing here in reality makes something that is only called that talking about the one that brought most of these these capacitors just a whole lot of them a research equipment a whole lot of them look at the strong magnets he brought for us and his name is mr sam Ogumbo. i mean i don't know what to say but only god will reward him for his sacrifice sacrifice and motivated us a lot we have to say is God will protect him and make sure he accomplish his own dreams in life. Because having supported this cause, I believe our generation will go a lot. And we ourselves being here doing this, we are using this medium to tell him that we support, we we'll never let him down. We we'll make sure we we'll go to the high we we'll grow to the height that proud of what he did. So let me continue with you. Okay. So this the source is connected because this not now watch Instead of going down to this negative, it is entering another positive, then back to this source. That is what is happening here. Now, for the back side of the pulse motor, this is the little power it is generating. You can still double this thing, create another flywheel at the back to make it. Then, this is the, the power. The output from the back EMF, that's the light then. This is the output of this coil, of this coil. Here is another output. This is a whole effect. And here is the triggering unit. 
now what we want to showcase here is a proof of total over unit. The power that is being generated here is more than what this motor is consuming. Because the reaction of this the reaction of the alternator is demanding has been practically reduced. What you are seeing here in this thing is the strength of this magnet and coupled with the arrangements. We've been doing this for years and because of the materials we have, we can use it. It's not the least effective. That is why we have to thank God for demanding that work is in this assignment. Now, here is us. The flywheel is moving because of the, the energy that is flowing. That is why the speed is like this. When you power this unit, we have to produce another video, make another video that will feed us, maybe supply this thing with through an inverter so that it will increase the voltage coming to this pulse motor. Then we try to increase the voltage range of around 34, 35, thereabout. We can generate massive torque and all the things very very hard but here because of the strength of these batteries the charge coming from here has increased the voltage from this reactive charge converter that is why you are seeing it's charging up to 15 volts and while this one is still at 12 24.1 all the, the charge that is flowing through here is returning through this part the negative so everything you are seeing that is moving there is moving towards through this battery and that is why this battery is charging so the whole energy as you see there now is just Mind you, the back EMF is also returning at this up to the 90% of the energy consumed here. Very quickly, when we use, we just use the half wheels rectifier. And you know how half wheels rectifiers function. Remember, this can be assembled with an auxiliary flux method which will double the whole thing you are seeing here because if you can produce this maybe another flywheel at the back it means this energy you are seeing here this alternator will be maybe the output will be twice what you are seeing here and using the same input so this is how we are going to link in the next video we are going to see something that we are proud of. We just want to say big thanks to all our fans, big thanks to all our followers, big thanks to all who have been supporting this cause. All we know is that we have a better future. Thank you for Jeff with Energy Concept.